somebody trying to get into the rap game, especially from our, our culture, our, from the urban community, if you go to Def Jam, you have to get approved by Leo Corden. But not if, now. But, but back, back, back in the day. You go to Def Jam, you got to get approved by Leo. You go to Interscope, you got to get approved by Jimmy Iovine. If you go to Koch, you got to get approved by Alan Grumblatt. You follow what I'm saying? So all these will be considered white CEOs who are dipping inside our culture. And my question, which I asked you off camera, my question was, uh, before we let these young brothers come to these companies where they got to go to the white CEOs, years ago you had Master P with No Limit, Suge Knight with Death Row, Irv Gotta with Murder, Inc., Dame Dash with Rockefeller, J, uh, J. Prince with Rap-A-Lot, Ted Lucas with Slip and Slide, Jermaine Dupree with So So Deaf. All these black CEOs who are making, uh, I guess, hundreds of millions of dollars. So why do we got to go to him? Why don't y'all just start a label on y'all own? Because if we go to Leo, Jimmy Iovine, or Alan Grumblatt, we might sign a deal and get 500000 on front, maybe a million at the most. This mean that they, 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 they get themselves front. Y'all got that. So how come we can't go and sign with y'all? Y'all form a, what's the word they use? Uh, uh, um, what's the word when people have a job? Uh, uh, a union, yeah. Why don't we form a union and let, uh, imagine a union, imagine a union to where uh, Jay Prince is my head of street promotion. Dane Dash is my head of, uh, my, is my head of radio. Uh, Birdman and Slim is my head of uh, marketing promotion. Uh, Jay Prince is my head of security. You follow, you follow what I'm saying? So, well, uh, I'm signed to black CEOs who know where I come from. You follow what I'm saying? As opposed to going to the white dude who's just only judging me off of numbers. I might have 500 views on Instagram or YouTube, but my talent is worth a million dollars. You understand that. You understand raw talent. Let me put my expertise to it. We can make a million dollars off of it. They're going to judge me off of straight up my numbers. And then when I go to them, they're going to sign me to whatever they give me up front and whatever kind of fucked up paperwork they sign me to. So before we let that happen, how come all the black CEOs ever came together and started a union and be like, you know what, y'all can sign to us. Fuck them. And go back in the day when the CDs, okay, we can put our, our money together and press up a CD plant to where we can press up a million CDs in five hours and ship y'all out to the mom and pop record stores that we got relationships with already. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Yeah. Why did that never come to fruition? Oh, Am I making sense to you? I mean, logically, that would make sense. But, you know, like I was telling you, I tried. So it ain't not one person that you named that could say that I didn't say, yo, let's do it, something together. So every single person you named, and I could, you know, we could ask them. I, I, we were trying to sign the firm, and uh, Steve Stout fucked that one up. And we were trying, or not sign, but partner with, until right. we could do it together. You know, we were trying to get with Nas, you know. We tried to get with Wu-Tang. We tried to get with, you know, Master P. Every time I talked to him, I said, let's do something together. Every every time I talked to Slim. And any person I've ever spoken to at that level, that's always been an offer. I did that in movies as well. You know, if you look at and think about this logically, if each block in a city would work together, we would be able to take over anyone that was trying to be the majority over us if we stuck together. We can't even stick together from block to block, city to city. It's just a human, it's like a human nature. Like if you look at even past us culturally as black people, we supposed to be fighting for the country, right? There's a Republican and a Democrat, and they hate each other, but you're supposed to be fighting for to help the same block. Like, if me and you fighting for the same war, I ain't going to be mad at you for what you're trying to do. We're going to do it together. Right, right. So this division and, and even putting people in a black box, a white box, a religious box, separation is always, and division is always meant to create war. So we don't stick together and understand, like, you know, the only way the world is going to stick together is if we got a beef with aliens, then we'll be earth instead of being the soul. You know what I mean? Like, why would we share and tell? That's deep. Yeah. You you understand what I'm saying? Like that's a question for every single vertical of life as it relates to us. Why don't we stick together and they got to come to us? Why do we go to them, give them, them our culture and then let them sell it back to us? Why we can't, 
That's the reason why I did my own television network. And I would do it with anyone, even down to the filmmakers. Almost every filmmaker years ago that I told about, like, yo, do a, let's do a, 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 a streaming service together. But they all went and did it on their own. Four or five years later, and then tell me, I'd be like, I did this. I'm like, that's what I told you, <laughs> you know, and that we should have all done together. Wow. But for some reason, everybody just wants to do everything on their own. They don't understand collective economics. You know what I mean? So it's it's not just in 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 one vertical. It's every vertical in music, fashion, sports. What if everybody black quit playing professional sports because there's no white because there's no black owners? There would be no sports. We could stick together that way. Why we don't? 